Okay, in this video, I just want to talk about um, quadratic inequalities, and I just want to talk about a really common mistake people make. Um, so don't do what I'm about to do. Um, so a second ago, or in my other video, we actually solved this quadratic equation, x squared plus 2x minus 8. Um, and we came up with the solutions negative infinity to negative 4, and then 2 to infinity. A lot of times what people will do, so again, what I'm about to do is very much incorrect. So don't do what I'm about to do, but uh, it's basically, I see it, I see it all the time. Okay, so you can factor x squared plus 2x minus 8, we factored that a second ago, as x plus 4, and then x minus 2. So our inequality has to be greater than or equal to 0. And now what people will do is they'll just, you know, if it was an equation, you set each piece equal to zero. But if it's an inequality, you can't do the following. People still want to do the same thing. They want to take x plus 4 and make that greater than or equal to zero. And then they want to take x minus 2 and make that greater than or equal to zero. <clears throat> so the stuff down here again was the actual correct solution. before I lose my focus here. And then they'll subtract 4 and they say, well, x has to be greater than or equal to negative 4. And then it says, if you solve this by adding 2, it says x has to be greater than or equal to 2. So what does that mean? Does it has, okay, so it has to be greater than negative 4 or 2, or does it have to do both of these? Um, in either case, I think uh, you're going to see that definitely you're not going to get this part of the, the solution that we found before. Um, so this part's okay, writing it, but doing this step where you take each piece and make it greater than or equal to or less than or equal to or whatever it is, that is very much incorrect. Again, you have to make this number line and check all the points. So just want to point this out um, so that hopefully you won't do it. All right, good luck.